Folks, I'm very excited to share with you all today, all of our uh, IASIS certified provider, practitioner, technician, and mentor family. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, getting over a little cold. Uh, that we have Michael Brown, PhD. Uh, Dr. Michael Brown is with us from Tyler, Texas. Uh, Michael, we're very excited to have you uh, on Thanks, today. And this is the first in a new series of shout outs uh, for uh, practitioners who are top performers. Uh, and uh, Michael, uh, welcome. Great Thank to you. have you with us Thank today. You. So it was back in uh, late uh, 2018 at a Frank Schallenberger conference uh, that I had the privilege of meeting uh, Sir William Brown, yeah. your papa, uh, yep. who is an MD and an exceptional functional doctor that I had the privilege of meeting through Dr. Frank Schallenberger. And he said, I would think that my son would really appreciate this technology and maybe you ought to tell him a little bit about it. And I said, well, I'd be honored to do that. And, uh, and that, and that launched a great friendship. Uh, and, uh, and I've been very grateful to, to have you not just on our team, but, um, uh, as a dear friend uh, over these uh, these years. So Michael. Yes, sir. For all of our uh, esteemed family, I'd be really grateful if you would jump in and share a little bit about your background and we'll, we'll share some images of your practice. Uh, but before we do that, and then we'll, and then we'll go to the images. It is well known as I share with folks that within that first year, you treated more than 6,000 sessions. How in the world did you do that? Were you working seven days or what? Uh, and, you know, because people are saying, I need to get my system a little better launched. And Michael, you you have been a ardent supporter of IASIS. Uh, and um, I would love, and I know that a lot of folks would be very excited to learn how how did you do what you did uh, in that first year? And what has it been like in the years following? So just a little intro from you, and then we'll jump to some of the images so that we can introduce your practice to folks. Well, well, thank you, Barry. Um, I, I, I will tell you the, the first year was just how that started was you and I spent some time together. You came down and spent some time in our practice. You came and did a an info session where we met with several people at a church. We invited people to come listen about ISIS. And that's really the foundation of how things started. I got one-on-one -on -one time with you. you. You taught me the ins and outs of neurofeedback. We had been through the training, but having that one-on-one -on -one time with you, um, learning how to really assess patients properly so they could get the right treatment. And I think that was the foundation of our success was spending those, those several days with you in our practice one-on-one -on -one with patients, watching you work, you helping me one-on-one. -on -one. I, I think that was the foundation of our success because I learned how to assess patients and the true need and how to help them with IASIS. So I have to thank you for that. I had a great foundation. I'm so grateful for you sharing that, uh, mm -hmm. not just because, I mean, I love you. I love being with you and Sharon and your dad and uh, and your mom and everybody it, and, and your team. It was incredible. But there's nothing like being together. There isn't, and and obviously, it's hard because I cannot be everywhere simultaneously. Right. But the the impact of an onsite <laughs> coming out and being with you, treating individuals, and saying, "Why did you do this? Why did you do that? How did you make that decision?" Because this is really not a paint by number type approach, right? Right. I mean, as much as there's a science to it, mm -hmm. there's as much of an art. And as a, you know, as a psychologist, you know so well, it isn't just about the books on your shelf. Mm -hmm. The books are great. You need the knowledge and the technical knowledge of the virtual training that's now on demand online along with the foundation training, it's 
it's critical. And you came to an FOI. You were there in person. But then coming out and working with you, that allowed me to actually sit you and I side by side going through those those steps. And, you know, I share that with folks. Uh, and and I think that the ones that truly avail themselves of that, they wind up saying, you know, I got it when I came to the trainings, you know, or to the training, the, the mm-hmm. FOI, the foundation training, mm-hmm. but then going through the way that we did. But then the thing is, how in the world were you able to treat that many people? I mean, I know you've got a lot of stamina and you are a- Work you know, a lot of hours. <laughs> you know, exactly. uh, yeah, just a, a, a lot of a lot of hours. How many we people- We were working six days a week, Barry. We were so busy and we were promoting ISS. We were telling others, hey, share what experiences you're having. Uh, we were using the, the assessment form, you know, the 24-hour follow-up forms. So we had, you know, if a patient came in and said, well, I didn't really feel much, I said, well, yeah, but if you look at your 24-hour assessment, you actually did improve based on what, you know, where we started from. And really the foundation for me was that assessment that you taught me how to do, how to properly assess a patient uh, and learn, you know, where to start them from, what site pairs to use. Um, That was foundational to our success. And I think because we had that foundation, we were successful in just word spread. It was word of mouth. And it we've just continued to grow. We, we started in a, in a room that was, you remember how small that room was? Oh yeah, absolutely. My dad had an eight by 10 office. Um, it was, I think now we're in a 5,000 square foot office now with uh, wow. three, three ISIS machines. Oh my goodness. That's-, That's how we're able to continue doing the volume because myself, my wife uh, are back and forth doing ISIS. Amazing. Well, let's, yeah. let's share this. Uh, can you see the screen, Michael? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so I'm going to turn this on, uh, and I'm going to ask if you wouldn't mind. Just kind of narrate. I'm going to ask if you wouldn't mind. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, to uh, uh, it, it's just one minute long, uh, and if you would just give a just a a super brief uh, overview, uh, uh, and I want to thank Lucas Bolts for creating this nice little slideshow uh of the images that uh that you had uh, had sent that i f- that i forwarded and here we go michael okay if if i can get it to go let's see here okay that's our front parking lot that's the main entrance to our building there uh, of course the main entrance there my dad's name and i on the left hand side there with our nurse practitioner uh, our front entry sign, which that logo is unique. There's my wife, Sharon, on the right, and Deneen, our secretary, on the left. That's a hyperbaric oxygen machine that we've been using for a lot of things. That's called a theta chamber right there, one of our new technologies we're using. Uh, that's the entryway to my side of the practice, my office. Uh, there's our ISIS, one of our ISIS machines, and our SRT machine there. Again, that's my primary office where I spend most of my hours. Just a view from my back porch. We've been blessed with a great location. That's a TMS machine and something called a Firefly for pain. Again, another one of our small offices where I see patients there. That's my brain gauge assessment tool, which is foundational to success of neurofeedback, I think. Tracking and gauging progress where you can actually see something happening. Um, I love brain gauge as a, as a primary assessment tool, along with my assessment that you taught me, Barry. I also use the brain gauge to get baseline um, graph of you know plasticity and accuracy and focus and timing and fatigue and all those measures that we're interested in looking or that I'm, I'm interested in looking at. But it gives patients something tangible to look at. It's like, okay, here's where I was when I started. Mm-hmm. I've done four to five, six ISIS sessions, and and here's my here's my progress. And when patients can actually see their brain improving right in front of them, they're more motivated to continue on with treatment. Oh, so wow. we give our patients a lot of feedback to, that keeps them progressing forward. And brain okay. gauge is a great tool that we've used for that to gauge ISIS, and it works. That's wonderful. How 
how many in between how many sessions after uh before the first after the fifth the tenth how frequently do you you uh do the brain gauge uh brain gauge of course first appointment that's part of the assessment we do a brain gauge and then uh usually every month i'll do one after so that that depends on how frequent i'm seeing patients usually twice a week uh, for most and so about every six to eight sessions and we'll we'll, te we'll test them again just to check progress okay i think and it's a very maybe, helpful tool and it takes you know you can do a snapshot for in 10 minutes yeah oh, absolutely so it just takes you 10 minutes to do a brain gauge from sorry yeah, to and I, about yeah and i particularly look at things like plasticity and temporal order judgment those are the things i'm really interested in um, you know, the brain's ability to make new connections. And we see vast improvement using neurofeedback, using ISIS, um, seeing plasticity scores increase very quickly. Mm -hmm. So the brain's ability to adapt and change over time uh, improves dramatically with ISIS. And, and that may not be something that you feel, but we know that the brain is healing when we see it. Right, that. right. And you can observe it through, through the brain gauge. Uh, and how long have you worked with that technology? Oh, goodness. We've had that now for three, maybe four years when, right. when it first came out and we got on board. You actually, the you were the first person that that introduced me to it mm -hmm. uh, and to uh, to Dr. Tomerdahl. Uh, and uh, uh, and and actually what excited me about it was the fact that we actually short of because obviously we don't do brain mapping. It was very nice to be able to have a tool that could show some of those changes in um you know neuroplasticity uh in and and so forth and what was the other word you used you like to look at neuroplasticity and yeah, temp temporal order judgment so kind of that that uh how the brain uses judgment and estimation and so uh that's that temporal order judgment how the brain kind of like if there's an area of damage in the brain how the brain shifts over uh to another part of the brain to do the same task so you're talking about improved executive function. Exactly. Cool. Very, very. And cool. these areas of the brain and using brain gauge mm -hmm. uh, are correlated with different lobes of the brain. So if you have poor scores in one area that tells you, oh, we really, really need to focus on F3, F4, F7, F8. Uh, we need to really highlight those areas in treatment. So it gives us a, almost a blueprint in some sense to uh, know exactly where we need to be placing those leads more. Excellent. And so how how critical do you think your background in psychology was uh, in assisting you to be effective uh, as a practitioner with ISIS? Well, I'll, I'll be honest with you, Barry, what, what I learned in 15 years of school, it's a long time, um, was that it, my primary training was in psychotherapy and behavioral medicine. What, what I found was, is a lot of times therapy alone and medicine alone does not fix a patient. We're, we're not having the change through therapy. And I was really frustrated as a practitioner when I was doing counseling or medication management, not seeing the changes I wanted to see in patients. Mm. ISIS is the first tool that I ever used where I saw almost immediate changes in, in a lot of my patients with post-traumatic stress or depression or anxiety almost immediate relief with no negative side effects. That excited me more than anything. Mm -hmm. That's really what got me so excited about using ISIS was, you know, therapy alone sometimes works, but combined therapy with ISIS, when the chemistry in the brain starts to regulate, much more effective. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, and when, when you think about <clears throat> folks who are, sort of, they hear about ISIS and they think, wow, did you hear about Dr. Michael Brown? It, they think, oh, you know, because the fact is you make it look a little seamless. You make it look easy. But in fact, you said it a few minutes ago, you work countless hours. Mm -hmm. How have you been able to uh, have the kind of success at the basic level, filling the chair. How have you brought all those people in? Now, I understand you work closely with your very successful functional uh, medical mm -hmm. doctor, 
dad. Uh, and that obviously has been a source of driving individuals because he knows of the effectiveness of ISS, which he learned from Dr. Right. Hallenberger. But what are some of the things that you've done personally uh, mm -hmm. to, to help to drive? Because this is not the only way I would imagine that you have filled the chair. What other things have you done to create the ongoing success? And, and then secondly, when someone comes in, and you first meet them and you do that initial assessment mm -hmm. uh, and they get to the end of that first session. Uh, do you support them in purchasing a package? What are your typical packages and what do you, what, what would you typically charge for the packages? And do you find that they come back for more packages um, because you've got them already kind of in that mode and what, and which is the most popular package? So before we get into that, how, how have you, you know, you've, you've done beautifully, miraculously, you've been blessed in so many ways, but how, what have your, your personal efforts been in addition to word of mouth, obviously, and doing great work? Well, it's something you taught me in the very beginning, the importance of doing regular info sessions, inviting the public through, you know, social media, you know, some a little bit of advertising at some of the, the local stores, you know, putting out flyers. Uh, having these info sessions where we host uh, information about ISIS and we have people come in and we educate them on the benefits of doing ISIS. And not only do we combine ISIS, we kind of have a, a whole person approach. We combine nutrition, you mm -hmm. know, lifestyle changes, supplementation, you know, exercise, sleep, good sleep hygiene. Right. And so we're, we're, we're really focused in on the whole person. And I think people really appreciate that and they share that with others. So not only are we seeing you know patients for ISIS, but we find that they have a host of a, a lot of other issues and we can help them with those. So it's become, you know, a package or, you know, like you said, the packages, you know, we'll do 15 to 20 sessions on a regular package uh, on average. That's pretty much what we do. But the real success, I think, is focusing on the whole person and meeting them where their needs are. Mm. You know, whether really taking the time to sit and listen to them. And ISIS is a part of that, but the other part is just listening. And I think, I th honestly, Barry, I just think that that's, that word has gotten out. That's how we treat our patients. We take time with them. We spend time with education. Uh, we post on Instagram and Facebook and uh, word of mouth. Well, it is word of mouth. And I remember, golly, I think it was maybe five years ago. I received a telephone call from this woman and she said, Barry Bruder. And I said, yeah. And she said, well, I'm Gloria Duke. And I found out about you from Michael Brown. And oh. she started going into this thing and she said, now you're doing a training next week. And I said, yes, ma'am. She said, well, 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 we want a system and we're coming. And I said, well, don't you want to know a little more about it? No, I, at Michael Brown told us everything. No, we're, we're coming. And I did a lecture at University of Texas. I did a couple of lectures over there. Uh huh. So well, that's you, how that got started. Yeah. You did the. You were very effective. Michael Brown. Let me just tell you. Not only did they come to the training, well, they're superstars. Later, six yeah. days later, and purchased that system. But the two of them looked at me, and, and you know, by the end of the training, and they said, "Well." we're, we're going to do a research study on uh, anxiety and depression. And I said, well, oh, okay, well, great. You know, I mean, innocent until proven guilty. I, I believe everything within reason when people say they're committed right? and just go great. Cause you know, a lot of people say a lot of things and mm -hmm. sometimes they do those, those things. And sometimes they don't always get to doing those things. Right. And they said, no, we're, we're going to do that. And, don't you know, in they September did. of 23, that study published in the Journal for the American Association of Nurse Practitioners with a P of 95, a probability of 95 out of 100, which means 95 out of 100 times it's going to have the outcome that they observed, which was a one to two standard deviation above the mean of diminished anxiety, depression, and symptoms of PTSD. You can't make that up. 
Yeah. And that's, that's, that's it just, it works. It, I, I'm a patient myself, my family, we're all patients of ISIS. We practice what we preach. Yeah. We incorporate all the healthy lifestyles, which we teach our patients. And we're all about getting folks well. Yeah. Not just, not just through ISIS, but you know, chronic illness and autoimmune diseases and cancers and poor nutrition. We want to help our patients. So, so, so when you go out into the community, how do you actually find where to go to do talks? And I understand that you may do online forums or have people come to your office, what, monthly? Uh, you do meetings monthly for invite people to come. Do you do them online as well? And how do you find people in your community to talk to? Well, I go to all the health food stores. We have several local health food stores that we go to that a lot of our patients go to to buy supplements that we recommend. And so we put out our flyers there and that's where we advertise a lot of our info sessions. Um, you just have to actually go out there and, and you know pick, like I started taking half a day Friday off of the office. And that's that afternoon I go out and I put out flyers. I go talk to people. I go to doctor's offices, chiropractor offices. And just spend time, you know, passing out information and educating. Right. And so you, you have to make that a priority if you want to grow your business. You have to really invest some of your time in doing that. Absolutely. And, and what about SEO and ad buys? What percentage of your business would you say uh, is in that arena? And do you have a person that works with you specifically? For, for what now, Barry? Search engine optimization and ad buys and that sort of thing. Social media. Do you have a person who's dedicated to that because as you know we have uh, ISIS toolbox now which is the marketing arm of ISIS that Nick Ortiz and Teresa Horab run uh, and we help people who have no background in that um, do you have someone that works with you or is that your baby that's that's my wife <laughs> She's the, she's the superstar that does all that. And that's great. If there's more tools available uh, through ISIS, we will utilize those. Well, there are. There are quite a few. I'd love for you to talk with Teresa and Nick Ortiz because mm -hmm. he's done gangbusters with uh, helping folks who didn't have Sharon's kind of background. So I'm going to introduce you to Nick Ortiz uh, and uh, the uh, ISIS toolbox because there's some support that Nick can give because that's his whole focus. He's a marketing guru superstar when it comes to that sort of thing uh, with search engine optimization and ad buys. And I think that even as great as things are, you know, we could all, you know, learn, right, about new opportunities. So so as we move toward closing, because I know you've got patients waiting, if there was, uh, you know, if there was something that you could say uh, to, you know, not everybody is a Michael Brown. You are very blessed um, and and you are uh, a, you know, a, a such a loving man that is um, so dear to me that has gone out there and created, um, you know, the dream of ISS success, which is why I, you know, I wanted you to be my, you know, my first superstar to share oh, with folks uh, truly. And thank you. Um, we're excited to share uh, this with everybody, but for the folks that are saying, ah, oh, it's hard. I'm, I'm trying, I, I, you know, now you've already said one big piece. You've got to dedicate at least some part of one day. What would you say to some of those people in, you know, in, in closing um, as encouragement uh, uh, to, um, you know, to kind of keep, you know, keep your, you know, your, you know, your, your feet on the, on the ground and your eyes you know, looking into the sky and keep going forward. Uh, what what would you say to those folks to, to give that encouragement, Michael? And and what steps would you recommend uh, to help ensure their success from one of the greatest successes that I have ever known? Well, thank you for that, Barry. Um, I think it's important to have a plan. Um, if you're if you're if you if you're new to ISIS and building your business, 
you need to have a plan. You need to have a, a realistic, attainable, doable plan first. You need to set, you know, kind of some parameters for what that's going to look like. And then what steps you're going to take in order to make that happen. Mm -hmm. So without a plan, you've got nothing to shoot for. So I think having realistic expectations and having a good plan out of the gate of, okay, this is how many patients I want to shoot for per day or per week. And these are my steps to get there. And I promise you, because I've done this, if you're consistent in, in your, in your plan and sticking to your plan, you will, you will achieve it. Just make sure that your goals are reasonable and they're attainable, but you have to be consistent with what you're doing. You can't, can't give up when things get slow because that just happens as part of life but stick to the plan be consistent prioritize your own health and get out there and it's it's a numbers game really you, you get out there and you knock on enough doors like they say in marketing uh, you talk to enough people you're going to get your business going so i would just encourage people to be consistent and have have a good plan have something to shoot towards and i think that's been the key to our success is just the consistency of following our plan, doing the things we know work. And our foundation, Barry, was that day you stepped in our office in Tyler and showed me how to do it. I can't emphasize enough how important that was to our success was having you there for us. And I appreciate you being there for us. Well, it was, it was an honor. It was an honor to, to be there for you, Michael. Um, and I'll never forget. I stayed with your, your dad and mom and your dad had made almond cookies and Man, I just, I never stopped thinking about those cookies and that little doggy, the dog and the cookies. Uh, and your mama was so sweet. What a sweetheart. Yeah, uh, we I, sure I, miss mom, but I miss, I miss your mom. I miss your mom and my mom. And I wish that they, they're, they're probably, they're probably up there uh, sharing a coffee right now. Well, if there's, if there's a, if there's a kitchen in heaven i think my mom's running it probably <laughs> well if she's running it my mom's there hanging out because my mama definitely needed someone to take charge in the kitchen uh, so thank god was... for, thank god for diana and uh, absolutely absolutely michael uh god bless you and your family and you know so so excited to be able to be with you today thank, um, you. thank you for your words of wisdom uh and um uh, and your loving heart, uh, best to Sharon uh, and dad and uh, and take great care. And we'll definitely look forward to seeing you soon, folks. Thanks uh, for having me, Barry. Uh, if you wish to reach out to uh, Dr. Michael Brown, Michael, what is the best way? First of all, what is your URL? If you would just slowly let folks know how to take a peek at your website to okay. see your presence there. And then if someone wanted to write an email to, to bounce a couple of questions off of you, pretty mm -hmm. pleased, would that be okay? Absolutely. Awesome. So our so our website, Barry, is, is our name here, Brown, and the word integrative. At uh, it's, it's brownintegrative.com. That is our website. And our email is exactly the same, brownintegrative at gmail.com. Brown. All one word. Integrative. At yeah, this, and this symbol here uh, in between brown, if you could, I don't know, it's maybe hard to see. No, I see it. It's literally like two hands together, this integrative uh, symbol. And so that's that's kind of what we were going for there. Just, you know, the combination of the things that we do to to bring people to their ultimate health. That's a great, that's a great logo. Now you're going to go hop on that bike behind you. That's my wife's bike. That actually is a, is a motor. It's got a motor so she can keep up with me when I ride. <laughs> so she just clicks the button and the motor kicks in and she takes off and I'm, I don't have motor assist, but she now, does. Now you got to keep up with her and it's pushing too. She passes me on all the hills, just smiling. <laughs> not wow. even pedaling. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> very, very. See, I, I thought that she was Wonder Woman. And she's got well, a little is. You know, <laughs> she runs our office. She takes care of my dad and me and <laughs> takes care of the front. Also does ISIS when I get booked up. You know, right. we'll see 20, 26, 27 ISIS patients in a day. And she'll she'll kick in when I get behind and, and fill in and see patients too. So that's great. That's how we do it. <laughs> that's fantastic. Well, my apology for my little tickle in the throat, Michael. Thank you so much for being with us. Folks, Pleasure. reach out to Michael Brown, 
uh, have a little chat with him. He's a great guy. Uh, and uh, continue having a fantastic day. And we will look forward to talking soon. Thank you, Barry. Thanks for having me today. Thank you.